Hello, and welcome to the channel. So, you just bought ACC, but you don't actually know where to start or what to do. So, what I was planning on doing today is giving you a very quick, basic intro into what to do when you first get the game and a couple of places where to go to. Okay? So, you first fire up the game, you see this screen. Personally, I wouldn't bother with career mode. I'd go straight to single player. Okay. Let's maybe come off there. That's a DRC. Let's go with Monza. Ultimately, it doesn't matter which car you pick. Okay. The bob in the game is so good. It It's more reliant on driver preference. What car do you like driving? What suits your driving style? So the first thing I would do is try as many different cars as possible. Okay, have a play around, see what you like. The only car I would recommend maybe not starting with is the Porsche. Yes, it's hard to drive, but beyond that, it is so different than any other car that if you learn to drive this, you may struggle then moving out of it. So for no other reason, I would try and pick something else. OK, because if you pick, let's say, the Lamborghini, it's easy for you to convert to like the Audi or if you've got the, the Aston Martin, you can go to the BMW. The other thing I would recommend is always pick the latest version of the car. So, for example, you've got the M4 here, 22, the M6, 17, go with the M4. Again, with the Audis, go with the 2022. With the Aston Martins go 2019. Okay, just pick the latest version of the car. The the other exceptions here, I wouldn't go with the Jag and I wouldn't go with the Writer. Okay, so Jag, Writer, Porsche. Stay away from. Try some of the others. They've all got strengths. They all got weaknesses. Some are quick in a straight line. Some are great at cornering. Some are great at brake. Some burn the tires out quicker than others. Um. Just get in them. Give them a try. See what you like driving. Then beyond that, once you do pick a car, so we like DMG, let's say, make that your go-to car, whatever you do, okay? Make that the only thing you drive. At the moment, I'm in the Honda. This is my go-to car. Wherever I drive, whatever league I'm in, whatever race I'm doing, I drive the Honda. This is the car I drive at the moment. To give you an idea, I've done over a thousand hours now in ACC and I've only driven three cars properly. Um, I've messed around other cars, I did enjoy the day in the AMG, funny enough, but that was a one off back in my league racing and now back in the Honda. Okay, so we then get on track. This is a practice session. This is how, if I haven't played the game before, where I would start get into a practice session. We go to setups. This is the Peter screen you see. Ignore safe preset. Always go to aggressive. What you need to do now is you will eventually adjust your PSIs to get your tyre temperatures. The track temp is 39. The air temp is 31 Celsius. Between 27.5 and 27.8. So as you go up, your tyres will warm up, and then what you do, you'll see where you get to. So you can see my tyres in the bottom right-hand corner there. You then come back to the garage. And you adjust these. Okay. So when your tyres are up to temperature, they're between 27.5 and 27.8. What I would do then... Once you know the right, I would go to save and save it under whatever the ambient and track temperature. So 30, 39, for example, here. As a rule of thumb, the, the temperature, the ambient temperature up and down changes by 0.1 degrees per one. OK, so that was 31. You lower this down. OK. Just a rule of thumb. It's not quite accurate, but it gives you a good starting block. 
in the wet it would need to be 30 to 30.5 but I can imagine when you first start off you're not going to do many wet races at all. The only other thing to note is front brake pads and rear brake pads. Anything under sort of an hour, an hour and a half, keep them one. Okay? Two is for endurance, three for the rain. Ignore four. Okay? So, the first thing I'll do then is go in, aggressive setup, change these down to one. The fuel's not so important just yet because you'd work that out afterwards. And then get out, do some laps, and then adjust your tyre temperatures. You can actually work off PSI hot here. So this will tell you what your, your temperatures were at the highs. Okay, and then you can then sort of adjust this to get that to where you want to. Okay. So as you go out, if you look next to the tyres, you've got the fuel laps and fuel per lap. That will obviously adjust to your driving to let you know what your fuel is. You would then go to somewhere to do your fuel calculation. I'll put the link to this particular one of the sim grid in chat. So you put how long the race is, what your average lap is. So, you know, 150, it doesn't make a difference. There you go, it's 11 laps, you use 38 litres in the 20 minutes, okay? Build yourself in a lap or two cover, job done. All right. Do you have any other bit of software I would recommend? Because there's a lot of software you can download. You can you can really overdo it. You can sim hard, sim dashboard, ACC manager, second monitor. There, there's there's a lot you can download. Okay, for the time being, just download Crew Chief. Okay. You can, hopefully you might be able to find your name. You can set different voices. I'll just leave it as default as Jim. Click on a set called Competizione, right hit start. Check. It will auto link, okay? The only thing you need to do around that then is in options, audio, radio comms, starter comms, spotter. Just well, turn the volume down to that. That will basically stop them from working. But yeah, just make sure that's off. Not you get two voices in your ear. And crew chief is really good at letting you know the cars around you, okay? Your radar, uh, your radar come up anyway, so you, you you're sorted on that. And alongside crew chief, that should hopefully help you drive cleaner. Now, once you get to know a track, if you click on practice here, across the top tabs, you can do quick races. Okay, get yourself involved with some AI on the grid. Get used to driving around other cars. There's a, a lot of YouTube videos out there to help with sort of uh, driving techniques. I'm not here to go through all your driving techniques and just where to start within the game, okay? So then do that. I would also recommend going on Facebook. If you've got Facebook, and just type in a circle, so competition in the search bar. There's a ton of Facebook groups you can go and join. Go and find the relevant ones. Even type in things like sim racing. There's a lot of groups you can join. I'd also look out for communities who got places for rookie drivers, for people who just picked up the game. Not everyone does that, so please find one which is relevant to you just starting out. Okay. The best thing about doing it that way is that you will gain more help and knowledge by being in Discord groups and communities of other sim racers who can help guide you along the way instead of trying to pick it up all yourself. They might be able to come up and track with you. They might be able to give you a bit of guidance in how to gain more lap time. It, it's it's all about passing on the knowledge. Don't get too caught up with alien drivers. When you go on YouTube, you see these these drivers, these eSport drivers, you look at the times they're doing, you think, oh, I can never get there. Give yourself mini goals, mini targets, and that is what you're striving for, okay? Set yourself a slightly better time and go, right, then that's the time I'm aiming for. Go and look at track guides. Now, what you what you could do is, once you get to grips, start going, right then, I'm going to work on a particular corner. Like, bring up a video 
of the track guide and look at maybe the first corner or two and go right then that's the bit we're going to work on and slowly build up your lap from there okay I think lastly the thing I would recommend as much as anything else is don't forget to enjoy it so many people get caught up in sim racing in the trying to be the best they can be they forget to enjoy the driving experience I was spinning a hell of a lot when I, I was still to a certain extent doing the Honda because I'm trying to push it as hard as I can but you know what I still just love racing it I still enjoy the driving okay just don't forget to enjoy the experience get around the communities get around people who can help you don't get too caught up with the pros and how quick they are because there's only so many of them so don't worry about that yeah and as time goes on there's uh people can guide you in the right direction to get better setups but for now i shouldn't worry about them so i hope that helps you i hope that gives you a bit of guidance i've got more guidance videos on my youtube channel so yeah if you do like it hit the uh, like button hit the follow button and hopefully we'll see you again soon thank you very much